Well, I swore I'd never open this box again, but here we go. Got my micro modular DC generator from a contest that I entered. I got I placed behind a talking pinata, let's put it that way. So it went into this box, never to be seen again until now. I'm sure you guys have a million questions, but essentially what it is is a Cox with a diesel, uh, Davis diesel conversion on it that's uh, mounted to an electric motor that has some wiring in it so that I can start it using a 12 volt LiPo battery that I have sandwiched in between layers of cutting board. Yes, that's exactly what that is. You can actually see the cuts from the previous owner on the bottom still. And uh, has a ducted fan for cooling because heat is really the killer of these things. But there's some wiring in there for the uh, to keep the voltage in the right range, and there's adjustability for that. And there's an output and start. It's got a double safety for the start, so there's a rocker switch and then a momentary on switch for the starter motor. And uh, yeah, after that disappointing finish to the talking pinata, I decided that I wasn't going to do it anymore. And after I also found out that the government uses the Davis diesel generators in their drones to keep them in the air so it's not exactly a secret and I don't really have the the time or the patience or the money or you know I'm just a tinker I don't have time to fill out paperwork or any of that BS so uh, but the reason I brought it out is because I'm gonna make another one a larger one because I found this Fox 45 BB vintage with uh, the RC so it's got a throttle that I can put a governor on and I've got a larger motor I've got another ducted fan here I don't know if I'll use that one or not and uh, so yeah so I'm gonna do another one that's bigger and should be better. This one was designed to fit in a, like a large pocket for emergency personnel and I didn't make it for that. I made it for myself originally because I'm uh, a prospector and there's a remote spot that I needed to run a pump a 12 volt bilge pump for my portable sluice box and we might show that in a later video but that's neither here nor there uh, but I needed a way to charge the batteries while I was out there because solar wasn't cutting and it was in a canyon and so I needed something to charge the batteries because everything took so long to get out there and so to make it worth your while you had to I had to pack extra batteries and the batteries you know are large like exit sign batteries and they were just uh, it was too much to carry a bunch of them so to have it, one of these sitting there running and charging uh, was the goal and then there was this contest and I figured well heck why not enter it I you know I don't know that there's gonna be anything there quite like that and there really wasn't but this project is gonna be another one for myself and if you wanna walk along with me I really number one don't remember and number two uh, don't really want to reveal all the the guts inside because there's a little bit of trickery with the wiring in order to get it to start and generate so, if you stay tuned, we'll uh, we'll get this bigger guy going. I've got a planetary gearbox from a drill. It's kind of in pieces now, but uh, I thought maybe that might come in handy. But you know how projects go; they come, in, parts come in, parts go out. So none of this might even end up in the final project. But I'm guessing the motor is. So stay tuned, and uh, if you have any questions, be feel free to leave them below and uh, I uh, also put a lot of stuff in the description so if like I don't talk about parts in the video sometimes I'll throw them in the description probably not so much in this video but in my other videos and for today's extra content I've got this strange uh, World War One German Erzatz uh, bayonet and it's still got part of the crown there no date it's been ground off but it's interesting it's chromed why would they chrome that? If you were going to chrome something, you'd chrome a parade bayonet, you know? 
you know, a regular wood handled one. So I'm not too sure about that one. Maybe it was chrome by a vet. Not sure. But kind of neat. I have it uh, hanging as the sort of Damocles above my bed. So my wife calls it because it's kind of in a stand like this. I don't know. Anyway, stay tuned for the next episode and thanks for watching. Bye.